All right, just wanted to show a new feature tonight, uh, kind of carry over from last night, uh, where you're able to change the game shortcut icons. Um, really just built in a preview for these icons now so that you can kind of see what they'll look like as you replace them. So this updates, this preview updates per game. Uh, it will also update, um, you know, as you choose a new theme. So we'll pick my favorite theme here over by Zerter. And we'll now go ahead in. And now you'll see that the, uh, the background image has changed because that's what this theme does. Uh, so I can actually go in here uh, and grab, you know, uh, latest ROMs, do like we did before. Go into Super Nintendo, go in here. I think my titles are all here, so you can replace them here. Uh, and, you know, you, you don't have to replace all of them. You can pick just a couple. And then uh, you can obviously cancel out, but what you'll want to do once you've got it done is you'll hit save. Now that actually saves the resource file, so now you could put it in to your device. You can also go back to it uh, and take a look at it, make sure it's right. Uh, the last thing I'll do to this, I actually wanted to do it tonight, but this took way too long, was just put the shortcut uh, names of the um, ROMs that you have as your shortcuts. I'm just going to plop them down here below so that it's really easy. You don't have to go back and look to see which ones you have the shortcuts for. So I'll add that in the next update. Uh, got caught doing too much of that. And then uh, also uh, shout out to uh, friends here, uh, Doggy World, and I don't know how to say your name, DTN, DTN. Uh, you know, for the, uh, basically we, we were finding out a nice little uh, bug that we had with a new feature that we're gonna add around um, patching of the power level. Uh, and so there's a, just a little bit behind on Tadpole on where some of the other uh, web tools are to make sure that we can support kind of a new fix for uh, making the battery life uh, last a bit longer and also give you indication when it's about to die. Uh, so we'll add that feature as well, uh, but shout out to them. Thanks for helping uh, figure that out. And that's uh, also part of this fix. So if you have patched your firmware through those web tools, uh, it should work now. You used to actually get a message that said uh, success, it never saved it. Uh, now you should be able to uh, go ahead and, and update your boot logo uh, directly from there. And then also, if you've got, for some reason, some bad BIOS, there's a little bit more uh, error checking, so it'll actually give you a uh, failure message now. All right, thanks so much.